The time of horror and spookiness is upon us, as the Fortnite island undergoes its transformation from building battle royale to scream-tacular fright show. That's right, Fort Nightmares is finally here. I'm Matt, and the Fort Nightmares update has finally dropped, and while Keith Allen gets himself acquainted with all the new changes, I'll be bringing you guys up to speed with the new update. As usual with these updates, Epic Games has given us some release notes that mention the biggest alterations to the game that they've made this time around. First of all is, of course, the return of Fort Nightmares. The terrifying twist in solos, duos, and squads this time around is the massive changes that have occurred at the agency turning it into the ruins and bringing horror to Apollo. What was once an abandoned building has now become a hive of ghostly goings on after the ghost of Midas was summoned by an arcane ritual. The ruins have been reclaimed by the ranks of the reawakened mastermind with revenge as his only goal. Will you join his army to fight alongside friends and foes alike to snatch a shadowy victory from the living? What does all that actually mean? Well, to put it simply, Battle Royale in Fortnite has seen a major switch up. When you're eliminated throughout the course of Fort Nightmares, that won't be the end of the game. Instead, you're going to respawn as a spooky shadow. Shadows have a couple of cool otherworldly abilities. You can perform a ghastly combo swipe attack called the Slash. You can phase through obstacles, scream to mark nearby survivors for yourself and other shadows, jump super high with a shadowy jump, consume weapons and gear to regenerate your health, and finally, possess vehicles to run people down with. If you manage to win as a shadow, you'll score a solo win, so it's pretty easy to get those at the moment. That's not all. The Midas mythics have been added back to the game with a little bit of a ghostly twist. If you manage to take out Shadow Midas at the ruins, then you'll be able to obtain Midas' shadow drum gun. New challenges are here. The island has been overrun with haunted huts and daunting decorations, so you can complete some new challenges to get a new terrifying Bobo back bling, the Smash O Lantern pickaxe, some XP, and much more. While there are only three Fortnite Mares quests available at the moment, thanks to data miners, we do know the rest of them, which I've been showing on the screen now. Finally, the loot pool has been updated to what Epic dub the Trick or Treat Edition. In this loop pool switch up, they're vaulting the charged shotgun and are bringing back what they call ghoulish weapons, which of course means the pumpkin launcher and the feed hunter crossbow are both back in the game. You can also now soar through the skies like a witch with the broomstick and fill up on candy with the new treats. The broomsticks can be found inside barrels at new witch shack locations, which can be found all over the map. It basically works the exact same way as the Silver Surfer surfboard. Since I'm talking about the surfboard, we might as well talk about the new superpowers, which are going to be rotating in. By the looks of it, the new superpowered addition to main Battle Royale modes are She-Hulk's fists, which you can now pick up from the Stark drones. If Battle Royale beatdowns aren't your thing and you're more into Party Royale, then you should get ready for the Afterlife Party on the 31st of October. The reggaeton global ambassador superstar and four-time Latin Grammy winner J Balvin will be performing on the main stage at 6pm Eastern Time. Now, usually in these update videos, I do a whole bit about how leakers have figured out how to look deeper into the files so we can tell you exactly what's been changed, but I, uh, I can't do that, I can't do that this time. That's because Epic Games have done something new to the files. You'll have noticed that this update was a little bit bigger than usual on PC. That's because Epic have completely reworked their compression tech. The update was huge, but on PC, the file size has gone way down, from 89 gigs all the way down to 29 gigs. However, because those compression systems have been changed, well, let's just say that file and skin leaks are gonna be a little bit wonky this week, as in there are no real file and balancing leaks, and skin leaks are totally whack. But on the subject of skins, thanks to the data mining god Hypex, we've been able to get a good look at some of the skins that have been added to the files this time around. First up is the new Skull Squad, a set of skins that are clearly modelled after the Skull Trooper. There's a Skeleton Fish Sticks, Burger Head, Team Leader, and a... Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I don't actually know all of the skins in this game, so I'm not sure who this one is. Sorry? 
If you're looking to break away from the tried and true Fortnite Mares classic, then you can also get the Punk, Good Doctor, Headlock, Ravina, Baba Yaga, or Patch. There's also a brand new Party Trooper, which is also definitely modelled after the Skull Trooper from the first Fortnite Mares. Oh, and of course, there's a ghostly shadowy Midas skin on the way. Major props to Hypex for being the first data miner to find their way around the new compression methods so that we can show off those skins. Alongside all of those uncompressed skins, some encrypted files that look like they're actually going to be for the Ghostbusters have also been discovered, but we don't actually know what they look like yet. To go along with the new Fortnite Mares theme, it looks like we're also going to be getting the Ghost Rider skin for the next Marvel Cup. That's actually everything we have for this update. I know it was a bit of a different one than usual, but hopefully the data miners will have managed to fix our mining tools before the release of the next update. Let me know how much you guys are enjoying Fortnite Mares down in the comments down below, because honestly, this is the coolest update we've had for a while now. Anyway, I'll see all of you guys in the next update video. But for now, this is Matt, signing out.